Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Alvarez Fisk was born near Mount Auburn, Massachusetts in 1783. In early 1812, he and his brother embarked on a journey south. In Natchez, Fisk established himself as a commissioned merchant and his business flourished eventually opening a branch office in New Orleans, Louisiana. In 1844, Alvarez Fisk acquired Choctaw, one of the first mansions built within the corporate limits of Natchez. After his brother's death in 1845, Alvarez began giving away large portions of his estate to local charities. He deeded real estate in Natchez for the founding of a system of free schools and became known as the father of the local school system. His best-known memorial, however, was the Fisk Memorial Library, established on March 16, 1883. The Adams County, Mississippi Library was established in July 1934 as part of the War Information Reference and Reading Service a Work Progress Administration project. On July 1, 1943, the two libraries combined into the Alvarez Fisk Memorial Public Library and Museum, providing service until May 19, 1965. A little less than two weeks later, the library reopened at its present location under the name of the Judge George W. Armstrong Library, where it continues to provide free public library service to the residents of the city of Natchez and Adams County. Alvarez Fisk died on November 15 in 1853. I am Pamela Baldwin Plummer, director of the Judge George W. Armstrong Library, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.